we had a very big issue. The left wing position was vacant and we needed somebody to fill it. And so we have now filled it with Gabriel Martinez to find out if this card is wondrous, mid, or do. And I'll be letting you know that by the end of this video. So I'll be letting you know the best ways to use this card to help get you more wins if you do decide to buy him. And I'll be breaking down all of his stats from pace all the way to physicality, letting you know how the card performs. So we're going to be breaking out all of his stats. If you need fuck coins right now to help you get any of these expensive cards, be sure to use code CV3 on use and buy for 6% off. Link in the description or link in the comments to get cheap and safe coins. So let's talk about his price. Now look at here. I was using him, and let me tell you something about FC25. Pace in this game is doodoo with the name on it, but also wondrous at the same time. In certain aspects, with that absolute nonsensity speed boost. And this guy has the ability. If you use the speed boost with him, wondrous, wondrous movement. So for me, Gabriel Martini with the pace is a W. If you need a pacey winger, he's fit. He can get in behind and do the speed boost very crazy. Now what about his dribbling ability? Now there's something about his dribbling ability that's very important that I'll let you know. But how does it actually feel in game? Dribbling in this game also feels absolute crap. But but some other players feel a little bit better and he doesn't really feel like a biggity biggity at all it feels pretty decent he can twist and turn and move around which is what i was surprised with so overall do i say it's a w for his dribbling ability for gabriel martini i'm gonna actually say his dribbling is very very good and is a great card to use with the dribble what about his shooting and clinicality ability now before i tell you this i'm also gonna let you know by the end of this after i break down all of his stats i'm gonna let you know the best ways to use this card to help perform the best for you if you do decide to buy it so with the shooting and clinicality ability if you're outside of the box and hit him with a finesse like Messi, it's not always gonna go in. His shot's only 81 and it's not crazy. I think only finesses are crazy with the finesse plus, but he has a regular, regular don't come my seller there, and it's still pretty decent. If you're in the box on the money, oh yes, he's scoring that for sure. For sure, keep that in mind when you're using him and shooting. If you green time in the box, for the most part, he can these goalkeepers are kind of OP, so they still might save it, but he's still pretty good with the clinicality for a winger, especially now. Defensively, in this game, you want your attackers to be pretty good defensively for Gabriel Martini. I don't give a damn, I know damn dice. Defense. he's an attacker but basically every attacker in this game feels like prime maldenye like they can defend anyways as long as you press this game is ridiculous but now let's talk about the physicality now the physicalities in this game a player like him he's an absolute pussy boots i'm gonna be real most players get near him in this game everybody gets bodied the tackles from behind but gabriel martini try and avoid physicality as much as possible with this type of card i'm gonna be real with you for sure now the best ways to use this card is actually quite simple when you get the ball with him on the wing and you're ready to get to cook it dance it making your opponents slide and glide like a damn penguin not knowing where to go you have to use the l1 speed boost in this card once you figure out how to use it you hold l1 and as soon as you're ready to choose which direction you move you press r2 and you boost i know it's a garbage mechanic but you have to use it in this game and he is very good at it he picks up a lot of speed and once you get in you can either try to hit off the finesse to at least give yourself a chance of a corner if you're outside the box or you get into the box and try and blast it into one of your strikers to give you a tap in type of goal another way to use this card is doing a little bit of that twist and turn twisting and turning with the player and then sending one of your pacey if you have a pacey striker in behind and do the over the tops because his passing is also pretty good in this game it's not gabby so you can send them over the tops into maybe a turam or a heineke heineke william and if you're rich and send them in and it will be op and you can give yourself a chance that way those are just a few ways to use gabriel martini in this game but the big question is is this car actually worth it and is he wondrous mid or doo, doo now for me using this card gabriel martini i'm gonna have to say this let's look at his stats first in the three game gabriel martini finished with eight goals and one assist which is a very solid stats there i ain't gonna lie you know what i'm saying but do i recommend this card when i was using he was absolutely abusing and using that defense he was cooking him so i'm gonna say this card is actually wondrous at this stage of the game he's a very great card to pick up if you can if you have the coin by the way he performs i'm gonna say he's kind of worth that he was pretty nice but hopefully he dips in price so you can afford him if you don't have the coin and also if you don't have the coin make sure you check out this card right here cheap beast that could possibly help you get insane amount of wins find out what happened in this video right here adios